Hello, it is Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome to my New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday, so not too challenging a crossword, I should think. Um, Yesterday was a Monday, and that was uh, on the easy side, I would say. And I I had a went with a little bit of a faster pace than I had on previous puzzles. Obviously not uh, at the same pace I would if I were solving alone, because I was still reading through each clue aloud, which obviously I wouldn't I wouldn't do on my own. But I was trying to strike a balance between um, a speedier Monday solve and still having that narrative element. So let me know what you thought about that balance. I'm still dialing this all in, so I'm happy to play around with different pace and different styles of narration. And I think that'll be different from day to day. I think the deeper we get into the week, the more um, mulling and narration there's going to be uh, to both explain and also as I think about the, the various clues. So let me know what you think. And with that, let's get on to this Tuesday puzzle. So to transform as from one being into another, um, I wonder if this is a sort of um, oh, what is it called when a <clears throat> when a larva evolve? Maybe no. I mean, what I was that's not correct. But what I was thinking of um, what is it called when a caterpillar turns into a butterfly? I can't think. Maybe it's whatever that is. But I, I just can't think of what it is. Response to a sting. Now this could be a, like a bee sting. It could be a sort of drug sting or something like that. Um, but let's move on for now. To send as payment is to remit payment. Um, shelters once made from buffalo skins. This is probably teepees, I would think. Um, Supervillain and Marvel Comics. I don't know that. Um, you can see one thing I'm doing here. Sometimes what I'll do, especially on easier days, like a Monday or Tuesday, is I'll sort of follow each letter that I've just put in. And sometimes you can get a really nice long chain and it doesn't, it's not the most efficient way to solve a puzzle, but sometimes I find it a little fun because <laughs> I'm, I'm that kind of dork. Um, Beethoven's Fur Blank, this is for Elise, for Elise, a uh, very famous piano piece. Kinda sorta suffix, this would be ish. This puzzle will hopefully be easy-ish. A prestigious school in Metro Boston, that's MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where I lived briefly, very, very briefly. Jazz legend Fitzgerald, Ella Fitzgerald, a kind of pitcher. Um, I think this is a relief pitcher. It is a term I've certainly heard before. Um, bit of cunning, this could be while. It could also not be, but, but it probably is because a portion I suspect is a lot. And the pseudonym of the essayist, essayist Charles Lamb is Elia. Could be pronouncing that incorrect or incorrectly. It could be Elia, but I do happen to know that was his pseudonym. Um, voila. This, I suppose, is here it is. This answer. To address every aspect of something is to cover all the bases. And opposite of post would be pre. If you are in the know, you are aware. And when you gush praise, you rave. Ah, when you transform as from one being into another, you morph. I, I don't know if that's what it's called when the caterpillar does that. Response to a sting. I suppose this could be ow, ow. It's a little awkward. But yeah, it must be because a ram's ma'am is a you. Female sheep. Self-defense self self spray is mace. That's pretty straightforward. To sail the seven seas. Camper's annoyance. I mean, it could be mosquitoes, but that is actually too many letters. Uh, so let's get rid of those. Orinoco flow singer is Enya, I think. To be smart-mouthed is probably to be sassy. Bro and sis are sibs, siblings, and you can tell that that's going to be a contraction because bro and sis are both contractions of brother and sister. One way to play it. I guess you could play it by ear. Kill the ump, e.g. I suppose that's a cry. I mean, that's that's a little general, but that is something. I'm, let's look at some other. Uh, impersonate is to pose as. A camper's annoyance is presumably an insect bite. So that um, that uh, this kill the ump is a cry. 
Part of a wine glass or a watch is a stem, I assume. What is a watch stem? I'm not sure, but it must have one. To go over terribly with an audience is a bomb. What is a watch stem? <laughs> is that something incredibly obvious that I'm blanking on? Uh, to go over terribly with an audience is to bomb. A snide question to one issuing a challenge. Oh, it could be... Nah. I was going to say who says in this sort of old-timey slang spelling, but that's probably not correct. To attack with a low flyover is to strafe. The outsiders, presumably they mean by this, them. Email about big lottery winnings usually is probably a scam, I suppose. Uh, if something is effortless, it is, I'm not sure, a babe in the woods. I guess a calf. An umpire's outstretched arms signify this, safe, I suppose. Actor Fox of Sanford and Son, that would be Red Fox with two Ds. Uh, to be not off one's rocker with a question mark. So I think what this means is seated because you are sitting in your rocking chair. You're not off of it. A little bit of a pun. Member of the first family. It's probably Abel, um, as in Cain and Abel. Uh, the first, I guess, I guess sons in the Bible. So the first family, literally. Uh, an illegal payment would be a bribe, presumably. One way up a mountain is a T-bar. I think T-bar came up last week in one of the puzzles, actually. Transportation in a Duke Ellington tune, the A-train, take the A-train. I uh, really loved that song when I was a child, I remember. Immediately, right off the bat. Effortless. You know, this calf might be wrong because effortless looks like facile to me, but maybe that's wrong. Let's look at some of these other, uh, let's, let's just erase both of those and we'll come back to it. Uh, let's see, to strain as one's brain, rack, to rack one's brain, what I just did momentarily to get that answer. Like a team on a day off, idle perhaps? Potter's materials would be clays. Yeah, this must be idle. An early record player is a gramophone. A snide question to one answering a challenge. Okay, so let's see. What is this? If you're proficient, you're adroit. Adroit, I guess, in English? Adroit? I realize I don't really say that in English very often. It comes from a French word. Uh, snide question to one issue. I mean, I don't say it often in French either, to be clear. Um, I just don't, I uh, have not said it aloud very often as an English word. Snide question to one issuing a challenge. What is this? Who, who you? What is this? Well, Kimo Sabi, the Lone Ranger to Tonto. So that's Kimo. Is it who you? That is so odd. Am I missing something obvious here? Let's keep, let's keep going. Happened to poetically. I mean, it could, it sort of looks like befell or something, but that's not enough letters. A babe in the woods. So it could be waif. I mean, it, it, I said calf, meaning I was taking that to me in a sort of um, clever way of referring to a particular kind of baby animal, but it could also be used in the idiomatic sense of someone naive. Um, but let's keep going. Oddly and unexpectedly, whoops, this would be gramophone because this must be out of left field. Ah, so we have a little bit of a soft theme here because there have been some baseball related clues uh, with that umpire cry and um, something else uh, right off the bat. So we've got we've got some baseball things going on. Uh, this must be facile, this effortless. And that must make this babe in the woods waif, I suppose. Yo, what's happening? I suppose that is sup, as in what's up? Mm-hmm, it's clear now. That'll be I see. Money to tide one over is a loan. One way boats come, I suppose that would be a shore. Air condition. 
I think the dash in air conditioned suggests that is a verb. And this could be vent as in to air condition something to vent it. Not very confident. So let's look at some crosses. Piece of pub furniture. No, okay. It's definitely not that, that other, that other one's not vent. Uh, it's probably cool actually, which is be a better answer. Um, because this piece of pub furniture must be stool. Oh, okay. It happened to poetically. It's not befell, it's befallen. So a different form of the same word. Um, ah, this isn't waif. <laughs> I've done something silly, this babe in the woods. It's not waif, it's naif. I even specifically said this refers to someone who's naive, but I didn't then follow through with the noun for that, which is naif, uh, I think. Uh, anyway, I did, the reason I think that is because what gibberish makes is no sense, as I sometimes as I sometimes make. That's the amount of sense. Uh, one for the road, tire, I suppose. That's uh, units in a homecoming parade, floats are in a parade. Pitchers. Um, now this is a bit of misdirection, I think, because we've got this baseball theme. So you'd think this would refer to a baseball pitcher, but in fact, I believe what it refers to is a ewer, another uh, word for a pitcher that you pour water out of or wine or whatever. Um, one who's radioactive. Uh, the question mark suggests this is not radioactive. The related to sort of nuclear materials, but rather radio um, communication. And this would be a CB or sort of enthusiast radio person, or maybe not an enthusiast, maybe a professional, I don't know. That's disgusting, it's probably you. And yeah, because awesome would be sweet. Tiny is we. There we've got our we. There was a, uh, the other day, there was a Scottish small was one of the clues and the answer ended up being sma. And I had we in there originally, even now we've now we've got it. Um, a situation that starts things completely over. Well, there's obviously new ball in there, but I'm not sure of the rest. So let's just look at some crosses. Took care of. Um, could be could be saved. Certain worker in a stadium would be an usher. Things a sayers a say would be oars when you do an assay to. Um, sort of determine the value of a, of a mining prospect or something like that. Uh, took care of is not saved, it is saw to. And to be inclined to do something is to tend to do it. A bygone GM product informally is an Olds, an Oldsmobile, a former General Motors brand. Uh, situation that starts things completely over, yep, this would be a whole new ball game, that's what that is. Uh, pray for a lion, it's probably a new GNU. Cockamamie, um, could be nutso. An electrical unit, it's probably a watt. Uh, outburst in a nursery. Eh, could be wah, like wah, 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 crying. A ticker tape parade honoree is a hero. And to use the return key for is enter. And there we go. There's a Tuesday puzzle. So that was, I would say, about a similar level of challenge to yesterday's Monday Maybe the maybe the tad bit more challenging, but not uh, that'll differ so much from person to person. So I would say it was about the same level of challenge. And accordingly, that was about, I would say, the same pace of narration to to yesterday. So if you found that satisfying, let me know. If you think it's working through the puzzle too quickly, um, also please let me know. Uh, it's hard for me to gauge this on my own. So that feedback is useful. And again, I'm sure it will change from day to day throughout a week and even from week to week because sometimes a Tuesday puzzle is trickier than a previous Tuesday puzzle. You never know. Um, but this one was pretty straightforward. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back again tomorrow with another edition of this Daily Solve. And with that, take care.